I am going to have a look at these molds that I've just got from Etsy and I'm going to dust them with mica powders um, just to see the different effects I can get and hopefully I'm going to build up, like I said, my collection ready for a piece I'm working on. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall I? I'm going to dust. One with brown. That's the coffee bean from the Colour Cottage. I'm going to dust one with autumn gold. That's got the co coffee in there and the autumn gold. This one I'm going to add coffee. I'm going to add a little bit of silver mist. I'm going to add a little bit of orange. I'm going crazy. So this one's sunset orange. I'm going to add a little bit of that to one of these here. Just want a bit of colour in my shell. A little bit of the chocolate. I'm getting creative now, look. Maybe a little bit of chocolate in that one as well. little orange in that one but I'm going to go down to gold a little bit of gold in that one and I'm going to go brown in this one a little bit Now I'm going to pour in my pearl shimmer. Hi, we are reviewing this mould and as you can see, the results are in. Now, again, like my other moulds have been tested, I've gone for some bright golds and bronze and a little bit of silver in there for a big piece I'm going to be working on. Now, I was inspired by Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner. Um, she created her own shells um, for a piece that she worked on. But what inspired me is the fact that she dusted her mould with mica powders before putting um the resin in and i love that so i'm just experimenting with different ways so thank you claire if you've not seen her channel go over there and see them um hers probably came out a bit more realism than mine <laughs> but i went a little bit bling bling but we're going to show you the detail on these and omg i do love them so i understand now why claire's been going omg just look at that look how beautiful it is so this was a mixture of bronze gold silver and actually a little bit of orange in some of these uh, did i say silver <laughs> but it's the color cottage pigments which are beautiful and i am just building up a collection of different shells and also beach themes or gadgets with some molds for a big piece so do come back and look at how i created these and now i feel if i'd have just did it lighter you would have started to see that shell come through there that creamy uh, pearlescent shell but i love this look at that detail Ooh, don't drop your shell so absolutely love that one 
take you in. So they're all different. They're all unique and interesting. But it is going to be a very rich beach piece that I'm working on. Um, they're all sort of just blank underneath, which is actually going to be better if you're working with shells rather than real shells because you can get air bubbles underneath them. Whereas these, because they're all filled in there, not so much. But look at that. Oh. This is like a small, is it cockman? I don't know what that type of shell is. But love it. It looks like a bronze sort of feeling on that one. They did come out of the mould beautifully. I've cleaned the mould up, ready for when I'm using it again. I did have a little bit of overspill, so I've just gone through and removed that, but uh, nothing dramatic. But yeah, I will put links to this mould in the description and also the Colour Cottage uh, pigments, but look at the detail on that. Oh, <laughs> they're trying to escape from me and go to the sea. This one was more just a gold with a little bit of um, orange on that. Quite like it. I mean, you do get some shells with touch of orange in them. But again, I'm not going for realism, Sharon. Stop saying it. Um, but look at that detail there. I think it's going to be a golden beach. Maybe that's the uh, title. Look at this one. Love it. Well, that kind of reminds me of piece of jewellery from like a gladiator warrior or maybe a madonna when she was wearing all those pointy bras <laughs> but <laughs> you're all gonna see it now and not be able to unsee it but i do love the shell i do love the silver and how that goes through there absolutely lovely my slightly thinner one just a straightforward gold one that one Again, I'm not too sure if you're picking up, but every shell has got a little bit of detail in it. That's the orange and the coffee. Makes quite a nice blend in that one. And we even got some mini ones. So this one was mainly just silver. I think I did blush. See how when you get the uh, white coming through there or the uh, cream, it does add that pearlescent look to it. And this one, love, love how you got that um, coming through there and twisting round. Absolutely lovely. All right, so remember in my descriptions, I'll put a link to the products used in here. I'd love to know if you've created your own shells and how did you create them? Have you also been over and seen the wonderful Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner and had a look at her channel? She's full of different craft ideas. And also, have you done a golden beach or a blinged up beach? Anyway, that's enough of me digressing. Come back and see me. I don't know if I've said it already. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Visit my Facebook group if you want to showcase your creations. That helps inspire me and I'm hoping I inspire you and we can inspire each other. Pop over to my Facebook Redbubble and Etsy store if you want to purchase any treasures. And don't forget to come back and see where I do create with my golden shells. Hopefully that's going to be something that's going to inspire you. And last but not least... I will be having a giveaway when I hit 30,000 subscribers. So come back and see that video. And I just wanted to say a sincere thank you to each and every one of you who are supporters of me and my channel. Really, really appreciate it. And I'm sending you all love out there. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.